Hello again. Um, in the last couple of videos we've been looking at reflective surfaces um, which is involved looking mainly at tonal value and at edges. Um, I want to now look at other surfaces not necessarily reflective and that involves texture. So this video is all about texture so what we want to get is get a piece of paper, it doesn't have to be fancy pants sketchbook and a pencil and I want you to play with this. This is a great instrument here so we can do all sorts of things with it, like um, do, do dots, so just to see what you can do, lines, you can do flicks, which is always quite an energetic mark to do. You can do scribble, you can do little circles, you can do this, you can start off like that and end up with and make little circles like that. There's all sorts of things you can do um, just by playing with your pencil. So when you've done that and had a good play, I want you to um, be a bit more structured. So here we are, um, here's dots, and you can see it's just, I've just done exactly the same there. But what I've also done is concentrated some areas. So you've got some quite loose areas of dots and some quite concentrated areas. So already that's giving you um, a texture. The same with circles, look, little circles, bigger circles, Again, you can have them so there's just one every so often. And again, you can just bunch them up so that they overlap. Here's another texture scribble. Again, you can have it so it's so dense that it all joins up together or it's more sporadic like that. Then you've got texture which progresses. So you've got, here we are, dots to scribble. So you, you really, if I go to this, here's your dots there and that's your scribble there. You're wanting to try to get from that to that. So make your dots and then start to make them a bit more of a dot and then make these scribble, but make it less of a scribble. And you'll kind of meet in the middle with something like that. So have a go at dots to scribble progression. Maybe have a go at dots to circles progression. Um, you've got lovely flicked line here. You've got lines which are a little bit more structured like that. Again, get them so that they're close up and get them so that they um, spread out a bit more. The same with flicked line, flick it so it's quite dense. Don't worry if the lines all start to merge together. Um, that's really what you're, is, is kind of what you're after. Then you've got again, line and dot. So there's the line, there's the dot. Um, so you can actually pull some of these textures together, some of these marks together. And then you've got something with, it's a little bit more kind of structured where you've got little maybe kind of um, little rectangles or squares but again um, they can overlap um, and again they can kind of space themselves out. When you've done that go and have a rummage around your kitchen cupboards or your garage and see what you can find. Um, things like this and that. You see this is I mean this is perfect. I mean um, so you, you get your item and you think well you know what's the best mark that I've made to approximate that well you can see straight away that's going to be scribble isn't it I mean that's uh, going to be absolutely perfect but you can see there'll be some areas of dense scribble and some areas where um, the scribble is a lot looser something like this again immediately look holes um, you've got big holes little holes but I would say that texture there is a combination of um dots and holes so it's a it's it's something between those two um here's some that i've uh, had to go up this was a piece of cork so that really involved a bit of scribble and um a few dots here's um flicked line which was fur and again this is what i'm saying about some areas are quite dense and some areas are a little bit lighter um, here we have wood. Now, don't be tempted if you're doing wood to immediately think, oh, yes, I can do wood. What's that? Wood's, wood's easy. I can do wood. That's wood. Um, with wood, you've got some areas which are quite thick lined. So you want to put the thick lined in and sometimes it starts thick and goes thin. And then you have lines which kind of disappear. So you have to really look very, very hard at the sort of lines because that's going to give you the texture of wood. This one, I can't remember what it was actually, it was something quite soft and, and fluffy. Um, now I want to just uh, warn you against something because this is, um, it's very careful in the same way that I did the wood that this naughty left hand brain comes in and says, oh yes, I can do that. So let me show this one with Hessian. If you've got a piece of Hessian, you might be tempted to go, oh yeah, I can do Hessian, Has Hessian's that. And actually with something like Hessian, actually with Hessian, if you can see, 
a lot of hessian if you look at it really closely you've got these little negative shapes and you've got some lines but you've got some sometimes you can't see line don't worry if with the texture you can't actually see the texture sometimes you just want to suggest it that's a far more convincing uh, rendering of hessian than that and similarly with something like lace don't be tempted to just start drawing lace like that lace is about negative shape so here we are this is by creating negative shape and it's actually dots and dashes and little structured marks that's going to give you um lace i've got a couple of examples here one was again you might be tempted to do because you've done flicked lines you might be tempted to do something like this for grass so if i do um that's a kind of an obvious one and actually if you look at glass at grass i beg your pardon grass is more negative shapes if you look really carefully at the texture of glass if grass if you lie on the floor and you'll see the things you're actually wanting to draw are these these funny looking shapes here draw those and that's going to create the grass so don't let your brain fool you now here's a couple of examples that I've done. One I've actually done in ink, just because I thought you'd be able to see the mark making a bit better. So here we are, here's the dots. We've got lots of dots there. Here's dot and line. Look, we've got, you can see I've drawn line there and I've drawn dots. And again, there's areas that I haven't drawn everything. Because if you, if you cover the whole thing in texture, it becomes too much. Here we've got the structured marks, which in this case is suggesting um, stone and brick. Um, line and dot here, you've got a little bit of um, line, you've got some dots, you've got bits and pieces. See these areas here? This is really quite important in texture, these empty areas. If you leave those empty areas, the person that's looking at your drawing, their brain will fill that in. So you're demanding something of your viewer, and that's really good because it makes their brain work. Um, whereas if you textured the whole thing, it becomes, it looks like a piece of knitting. It just becomes um, far too busy. And it doesn't give your viewer anything to do. It's quite nice to engage your viewer. Here's a pencil drawing I did and this just explains what I was saying about um, some of the marks. So here we are, we have, this was a, an old piece of driftwood and it had got various um, foliage growing up it. Um, don't forget your tone. You see, I've toned it in just as we've done before with the reflective surfaces. Just because it texture, it doesn't mean that you can neglect the tone. This obviously is, is wood. This is moss. So I've done that with circles. And I've also created circles by actually allowing the tone to... Um, to, I've, I've drawn around the circle, so the circles kind of pop out there. And this is what I was saying about grass and foliage. What I've actually drawn there is I've drawn the shapes, the negative shapes, um, in between the foliage leaves. And that gives a far more convincing rendering. Specifically here, look, you can see how I've done that. So there we are, texture. Um, go away and find some interesting marks to make and see if you can match them up with some interesting textures around the home. Thank you very much.